This transfer also became a political party fight, with the conservatives fighting the liberals to bring Terry McClintock back behind bars. Eventually, they did win. And there was new rules allowed that the transfers be done closer to the end of the sentence to kind of bring them back into the loop of the real world. Um, so next is Michael Rafferty, the aftermath of him. Um, in 2012, he tried to appeal his um, conviction to say that the jury didn't understand the requirements to meet first degree murder. And that he should only be required a mere accessory to the crimes rather than somebody who was charged with something so large like first degree murder. And this went on for four years and ultimately in 2016 his request was disproved by the highest courts in Ontario. Um, in 2018 he had been moved to a medium security facility which specializes more with crimes of the sexual nature like the ones that Michael Rafferty had committed during the times of the Tory Stafford murder, rape, all of that. Um, this transfer came not too long after McClintock's transfer and again sparked public outrage by the public causing more protests and you know legacy parades, all of that. So to conclude my presentation I believe that overall justice was well served and was well deserved by Rafferty and McClintock. I believe that the security changes and the healing lodge transfers were unwarranted and that they shouldn't have happened and that they didn't deserve to, th to do that. Um, I think that considering the crimes that they did commit and the aftermath that they left on this poor girl and her family, that they should have stayed where they were. Um, I know that this is something terrible and it happens all the time, everywhere, no matter where you are. Like I said, it's the harsh reality of our society today. Um, either way, it was still undeserved by Tori and everyone around her, no matter what reason they had, since there was no set reason for the crimes. Um, it, it wasn't deserved. She didn't deserve to die for something that had nothing to do with her. Um, I like to leave my presentation off on a better note to say... I want to leave my condolences with Tori and her family, and I hope that they are doing better than they were at the time of the murder, and finding peace with all that has happened, and are trying to move on the best that they can with their lives. Thank you.